Hi guys, my name is Crystal, it's Thursday, this is an add-on from the first video I've done this morning. Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 9.27am. Now I've got to take my dog out for a walk, I've had a bit of a scare, my leg went dead. But it seems to be okay now, I'm moving it up and down. I'm moving it up and down so it's fine. Um, So my mum's just left me an answer phone message and she's used the word dead in it. Dead. She's huffing and panting. Like she's talking really fast and huffing and puffing her words. Doesn't really know what she's saying. Um, I really don't want a conversation with my mother because the phone hurts my face. If I'm long on it longer than five minutes, um, it hurts my face and makes me feel unwell. Um, I don't know what she's doing, I, that I could just barely understand what she was saying, she was stringing words together, she didn't know whether I'd come up Monday or last Thursday, um, yeah, it's just a bit like odd, um, I think someone is upstairs, um, I can hear odd noises now and then, like loud noises, on and off, um, I'm just, I've, I've got a Tesco home shopping delivery. It's got my cat food and cat litter. My mum said I came up Monday, she's got nothing for me. I've got a Tesco home delivery shopping order coming this afternoon. And I had a shock because I thought, oh my God, I thought it was like due about 11. And my leg went dead. And I thought, how am I going to get down the stairs to let the man in if my leg's packed in? But it's come round. I'm sure I just led on it and it was a dead leg. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take Max out for a walk. Stress can kill somebody. If you keep harassing someone, stalking them, upsetting them, uh, stress is a killer. Stress can kill you. Um, I'm trying to take it easy. I've not lost my temper over anything. That horrible experience in the pound shop in Strood, um, I held my emotions in. I was being treated like shit, but I held my emotions in, and it's not healthy. But it's not. It's also not healthy shouting at people. So I need a way that I can get this anger out and all this holding emotions in out because it's not healthy to hold it in. It's also not healthy to burst into rages of anger either. Um. Things have changed. My son's moved to London. I used to go out and meet my son two or three times a week sometimes. He's moved. Um, so the company's gone. And I've just got my mother ringing three or four times a day. And she's eccentric. She says strange things. And sometimes I don't know how to deal with it. And also the words, the wording she's using, words like dead, um, your numbers up, and things like that is just weird. And sometimes, I mean, she did this to me in Gloucestershire and I called an ambulance out about three or four times in Gloucestershire because she was alarming me, scaring me. I remember one time I was um, at my safe house and she said to me, my mother Jennifer did, um, don't worry if someone tries to break in. She said, lock the doors, bolt the doors up. up. And um, I started to panic and I gave myself a panic attack and I thought I was having a heart attack. I broke out in a hot sweat and I had to call an ambulance. And they said, don't worry, my dear, it's, it's a panic attack. Your heart's fine. But she had actually said, don't worry some, if someone comes and breaks in. She also said, don't worry if you're kidnapped. You can survive on three drops of water. My mum did up in Gloucester. She said, don't worry if you get kidnapped. You can survive on three drops of water. And again, I panicked. I panicked. Why would someone want to kidnap me? Why would you say that? So this is her message to me this morning. My dad found it hard 
like to live with my mother, um, but he used to keep her under control. He found it very hard, and I, you know, she she talks to the neighbours in the same manner. Right, guys. Um, so, Alexa, what's the time, please? The time is nine twenty-three a.m. So, just a phone call from my mother first thing in the morning. Um, she said she was going to phone me today, and she indeed has. Let's see what words she's got to say this morning. She's mentioned the line was dead. I had a bit of a health scare this morning. I went to walk across the floor and my leg went dead. Uh, so she's mentioned the word dead in the phone conversation. The phone line wasn't dead at all. I heard the phone go off. So the phone line wasn't dead. Um, I don't know whether that's meant to scare or alarm, but... Um, if I need help, I'll call the right assistant. See you later. Yes, so I found out there is someone running up and down upstairs because when my mum rang, I could hear it. So there is a child upstairs. I can hear noise. They seem to start when the phone goes off. So when my mum rang, I could hear noise going up and down. Um, I, c I wouldn't go up to my mum's today. I don't feel well. I've got a Tesco home delivery. So anybody trying to make noise to get me out of my flat, it isn't going to work. Um, th there are unsavoury men going up and down the road. My mum has said to me to have a good day. And I've had a bit of a health scare. I think it was just lying on the wrong side of the bed, so to speak. I hope so. Um, so people making noises, trying to make me angry with the guy upstairs, whatever. You know, it, you, you know, if you want to help me move out of this place, that's the wrong way to go about it, because I could end up in hospital. See you later.